welcome Gemini's to your heart spread reading call this the second half or the end of October kind of good for three month readings um, energy's funny when it comes from the other side where there's not time so it's a lot to ask already to pin down uh, manifestation really I guess what we're tapping into with tarot no Welcome to your heart spread. It's uh, for if you have someone on your mind and in your heart. That's who it's going to pick up on. Doesn't matter if you're with them, if you're not with them. Doesn't matter if they're alive. If that's who's in your heart, that's who the card's going to pick up on. That's what it's asked to read. So if you're single, I do have also the singles read, which also comes out uh, always on Tuesdays as um, Gemini Cancer Day. There's going to be a zodiac that I'll read. I'll put it out on Tuesdays. So, um, check out the Mercury retrograde readings that were put up over the weekend. Um, all signs are done. And that looks at uh, who's stuck in your mind. Not necessarily the one you're like for your heart spread here. Uh, but it would be if you're single, if your couple wouldn't matter. It's just that person that may be the one who got away. The one you just can't get out of your mind, because I think that probably means something to us spiritually, emotionally, in terms of relationship. It's a relationship channel. I do check out the Soul Family Read, a collective read I do every day for just whoever resonates more about spirituality. Let's get down to you and your person here, Jim's. You Jim's. <laughs> uh, Sagittarius, strong side, so I'm in your corner. Uh, six Pentacles. We had this the other day for somebody. So in the heart spread, this shows where you're at in and around relationships, where your mind is at and where your heart is at. And I try to detach this a little from the energy of your person. And I try to see this also as just a baseline, kind of where you're at. And, you know, usually if you're in this energy, the Six of Pentacles is great. Perfect energy to come in a relationship with, right? Uh, it's all about reciprocation. You ain't playing around. Uh, they're pinnacles. They're solid. Uh, it usually means we've gone through issues of uh, lack of reciprocation. And we've uh, kind of figured out that we're not going to let that happen anymore. Okay. Now let's see where your person is. And they're coming into the relationship again. Where their mind and heart is at. In the round relationships. A little bit detached from you. This is more to read them where they are in themselves, okay, is a baseline. Um, so even before you kind of came into the picture, they were fairly, uh, they're moving into the reading, so they're definitely bringing this energy with them. Okay, Six of Pentacles is a balanced, solid energy. Pentacles balanced, very good. They come into a relationship, right? Ten of Wands, it's like you're falling into the relationship, just looking for somewhere to dump these nine wands. Too much action, too much going on, too much drama, too many problems. And I mean, realistically, you're facing into the reading. Where are you going to dump them? Well, Jim and I are going to dump them on you if they haven't already. Three of Cups. Now, this is your energy relating to them. Now, you are the third house. Um, I got to keep that in mind. And um, trying to tell you would know if you're cheating, so that's not an issue. But I'm trying to read with this card kind of where you're at around them. Now, if you're so, if they cheated on you or if that's like really strong, maybe what this is just reading is that the way you experience their energy right now, Gemini, is just that they're a cheater or you don't trust them emotionally. Now, another thing that this could mean is uh, you're taking the relationship lightly. You could consider it uh, friends with benefit. You could just consider it friends, this relationship. And I already get the feeling here. Now, they're coming in with a Ten of Wands. Let's see how they're reacting to you. But, um, you know, it seems like they're already more into it than you are. And then Five of Wands. So here's the deal. This is kind of really clear. Um, you have this person you're thinking of. And it's like, but you you're they come at you with all their stuff okay and you're kind of like you know boundaries man boundaries you know and they're just kind of not having it 
And to them, you're coming across with this energy and it's offensive to them. And it's just natural to you. You're just being yourself. It's just, you're not like indulging whatever it is, their problems. I mean, you probably told them like, you know, I'm, I'm not really a dumping ground for your problems, something like that. And now, I mean, fighting, arguing, actions. This could be like, well, if you don't let me uh, have first base, then I'm taking my glove and my ball, and by the way, it's my bat, and I'm going home, and I'm just not going to play with you guys. So it could be kind of like a really immature energy, uh, um, really confrontational, and I've been in a relationship with Gemini's, and one thing I found pretty consistently, Gemini's don't like they like this and you like this energy this is good for gemini's i think you don't like problems you don't like drama you don't like dark i mean you know it's why sad and gems get along good uh you know i don't really get it either it's like why is everything so freaking hard man i mean by and large unless you something terrible just happened obviously but by and large you know life is such a gift and it seems to be so you know, few problems that people make of them all the time, <laughs> you know, I just kind of see you sort of not having it here, really kind of just being yourself in the Knight of Pentacles. Can't really decide if this Knight's facing into the reading or not. Um, it's almost like a neutral stance, but it's coming under the Three of Cups. And you come in with the Six of Pentacles. This is the Knight of Pentacles. This is advice from Spirit for you, Gemini, in relationship to this person here. I have to be specific about what the position is because it says everything. And I feel like it's kind of like holding tight. In the business I was in, they had that phrase. We would tell drivers, you want to hold tight. Needy and greedy, hang around, see if a load comes up. You get to get more uh, money in overtime. You're going to hold tight for them. But it's like you're in a pretty good place. You know, it's not like you're holding tight and it's hard and oh my God. And it's kind of like, okay, well, I'm really happy. I'm kind of doing my thing. And I got my life balanced. Kind of like it that way. You know, thank you. And, you know, I need you to not dump this stuff all over me. That's what you're saying to them, Jim and I, one way or another. And here they are not liking it one bit, of course, because that's what they had in mind. Advice for them, Ten of Cups. I got to say, in terms of advice from Spirit for your person, relationship to you, what's Spirit trying to tell them? If you're cross-watching, what, what do you want here? You got a Ten of Cups here in this Gemini. This Gemini is not a Three of Cups. This Gemini is a Ten of Cups, you know. And imagine it's coming with your Ten of Wands, but you can't see it. Because, you know, um, you're counting your problems and you're not counting your blessings. Crosswatcher, if you're there, I could see one being there. So, that's pretty clear. And I think that I can just almost hear the conversation. There's some kind of a, a clear understanding. Knight of Wands is not going to leave anything for discussion. And... Um, if you are cross-watching, this Gemini could be solid for you. I see the tower on the bottom of the deck, which I do read lightly here. Um, and for the your person, Gemini, it more be with towers involved. Like, this here is a tower. Like, there's, like imagine the tower fell in marriage, whatever. And boom, now they got to carry away what they can on their back. You know, this rubble that's left um, and, you know... Um, I think you just kind of saw that coming, but you're interested in them and you're just saying like, you know, I guess you're kind of having faith in them too. And I see the Ten of Cups also as being a really good sign because this is coming from the universe. So the universe is going through the trouble to tell them, consider the fact that this is your Ten of Cups. This person may have wished for a person like you, Gemini, a man or woman, whatever they might have been. And then here you are, you know, um... They're dragging in some of their stuff. I mean, there's like codependent stuff with them. I think there isn't with you. That's maybe part of it right there. You're just not going to play any of that. And so they've got to figure out how to deal with it. 
Now let's see what the advice from Spirit is for the relationship as a whole. Take a break. It's clearly what this means. So this boundary may extend to the point, uh, and if you're cross-watching, I feel like I really need to speak to you now. You could still have a shot at this. Let's put it that way. But there's going to be, with this Gemini, a break, emotional break. They're going to emotionally, look, you have three of cups and now four of cups from you. And they're going to sit uh, in, I want to say, hold space for you. I believe they will. So in other words, you know, just because out of necessity that they are cutting, the Gemini is cutting you out of their life right now. Um, it doesn't mean that this is over. Let's see what the outcome is for the Ace of Pentacles. Look, I'm going to tell you here, uh, This I feel like I'm doing a reading for the Cross Watcher. Please share, Jim, and I honestly, what the fuck, you know? Just share with them if, if you can, uh, if you, this resonates at all. Um, because you're being like tested here, but it's a spiritual test. Gemini's not testing you. Here's why it's a test, because you've got a person here with boundaries. you got a person here who's happy, fulfilled, strong, willing to even hold space with, for you. That's kind of like unconditional love here from the Gemini. And, and this here is coming above the Four of Cups. Um, you're being given a restriction, okay? And it's kind of a test. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe that's not a popular thing these days. I don't know. Um, I think it's exactly how spirit works. It's like kind of testing to see if you're ready um, with denial. Denial. I mean, here's the deal, though. Gemini's holding space. Gemini's down. Gemini's genuinely saying, like, I'll give you a minute, but you need a minute. Maybe they're saying they need a minute, but they probably mean you need a minute, cross watcher. But look what the outcome of this heart spread is. This is a great relationship. This is from the ground up relationship. Why well, I like it. This is like both of you really starting solid. It really suits you, Jim and I, coming over your six pinnacles. This shows your person really leveling up, getting solid, getting stable. And you guys starting something that's long term and permanent. And kind of worth waiting for and is what you were tested for, Cross Watcher. The universe wants to make sure that you pass this test um, because um, the Gemini here that don't, doesn't deserve that kind of karma to have the rug pulled out from under them. So they, I'm just telling you how I'm seeing it. Um, basically, this you're being tested here, Cross Watcher. Keep talking to. Um, and it's this spiritual test. It's for your own good. And they are soulmates, and it's like spirits. Like I think this will work. Trust but verify. I hated that spirit kind of quote, quotes Reagan, but I can't help that. <laughs> Not a fan. But trust but verify, and so it's kind of like putting you putting you out there, and then taking it away and seeing how you react. You know, you got to take care of all this business here, um, and you will according to this reading, Gemini. Thank you guys. Give me a like, thumbs up. Appreciate it. Tell friend, tell friend. I do appreciate you subscribing, hitting the bell, all that. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You guys know this. Thank you.